Hi there, this is just a quick video on some animation principles inside of Modo. And uh, what we're going to do is look at uh, taking a propeller, you can see the one in the right side there that is spinning, and uh, then duplicating that animation across multiple other items. And now you could do this uh, directly with an instance. So if you've already set up your animation on your, uh, on your individual model here, and if I just right click on this, here in my uh, list view and instance that. I'm going to just take that one and move it over here. Um, now th the animation will go along with it. Now this is really dependent on that being set up initially though because you can see that since there is keyframe data here in the individual rotation channels that keyframe data moves along to the instance. Now if I go over here and select one of these other instances however you can see that there's no purple dot over here that indicates that uh, there are keyframes and uh, the purple dot means that it's actually driven by another uh, value or another animated value in this case. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one. So this works if you either are not working with instances or if uh, you've already placed instances and you want to set up animation and your links are not working and if you just want to uh, move animation along in general because you might have uh, different models that you want to add perhaps the same rotation to like this one here will make rotate as well. So the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, open up the channel links. So um, I'm going to select one of these here first and open up channel links. And the object that you have selected by default is going to load into the driven side. So this is the um, side that you will not keyframe individually, but will pick up on the keyframes of another object. So let's go ahead and select our one that's already animated here and we'll click on load driver and you can see all the different channels pop in here. So what we're looking at here is the Y axis. So if you look at that you can see it's the green one. So if we take rotation Y and then we want to put it to the same rotation over here because these are facing the same direction. So I just click on rotation Y and add link and you can see that one pops to a new rotational value already. And we can do the same thing here. Just select one, load driven, Y, Y, add link. Select this one, load driven, Y, Y, oops, Y, and add link. Now, you could also do this with the schematic view, but uh, this is kind of the quick and more direct way of doing it. And you could also do these so that there's based off of a relationship. You can see there's an option here for a relationship. Um, and that's if you don't want a direct one-to-one -one translation of the values. Okay, so there you go. You can see as I scrub this now, all of those are animated. Now, if you want this animation also to affect this propeller, notice that it's facing a different direction. And so the axis that's pointing out here, if you look real closely, is the blue one, which is the Z axis. So if I want to have this work here, I'm going to select load driven. So that one becomes the driven. And I want my Y axis rotation to equal my Z axis rotation. And then we'll just click add link. You can see that popped right in. And get those all into view and there you go those are all set up and animated and you've only got one to control and since these are all set up as a relationship or a direct link rather uh, if I go and adjust let's see my rotation Y here and let's say I just were to take this value here at the end and uh, make it less you can see that all of the other ones will adapt and fit as well. If you want this to go on indefinitely, you can uh, change your linear set to pre and post, set these both to linear, so that it makes a continuous line. And now you just have these two points that control the value, but they're just going to control the speed here. So if I set that up to, say, 1440, that means it will make uh, four complete rotations over the 120 frames. And look, they're both all um all three of them are just excuse me all five of them are just rotating along together so just changing the values now on that one will affect the others but they can all be positioned and angled independently so if you wanted to set up a secondary rig where these would angle in different directions in order to um, animate shifting weight or changing direction that could be handled independently and you don't have to have that set up to that rotation so they're going to spin like this automatically and you can do other animation on them without that being affected by um, what you've already done and without affecting what you've already done so hope that helps bye for now